family i hope you all are doing well welcome back once again to our daily hacking news series hit the like and subscribe button it will work as a sort out for our team so uh, now let's get right into the video so first news is related to minecraft so microsoft on thursday have flagged a cross platform botnet that primarily designed to launch ddos attack against private minecraft server so this is being called as mc crash and this is a botnet that is characterized by unique spreading mechanism that allow it to propagate to linux based devices despite originating from malicious software download on windows host so the botnet is spread by enumerating default credentials on internet exposed secure cell which is called ssh based device so this was being said by the company and they have also added that because iot device are commonly enabled for remote configuration with potential insecure setting these devices could be at risk to attack like this botnet so basically this is also mean that the malware could persist in iot devices even after removing it from the infected source pc the tech giant cyber security division is track the activity cluster under emerging moniker deb1028 so here are some sort of images which is being shown on screen which is somehow related now next news is related to few of the open source repositories so unknown threat actors have uploaded a massive of approx 144294 phishing related packages on open source package repository including npm pypy and nuget so the large scale attack result for and from automation as of packages were uploaded from account using a particular naming scheme featured similar description and led to the same cluster of 90 domains that hosted over 65000 phishing pages the campaign supposed by the operations promotes fake apps prize winning surveys gift card giveaway and more in some cases they they take victims to aliexpress via referral links so just be safe from this kind of repos which is being uploaded on multiple website and sometime it's on github as well so make sure while using any tool from github or somewhere else to go through with the source code as well if you are good enough in coding and all now next news related to fbi so in an attempt to reduce the entry barrier for malicious activity the us department of justice on wednesday announced that the seized of 48 domains that provide services to carry out ddos assaulted on behalf of other threat actors so in addition to cyber criminal accusations against six individuals who allegedly oversaw computer attacks platform known as booter services so numerous victim including educational institutions government organization gaming platform and millions of people were allegedly attacked by booter services like those identified as us and abroad so these assault can be severely reduce internet services and completely disrupt internet connections in addition to having a impact on the target victims so this is uh, huge then matlab every time fbi is catching some sort of malicious group which is good for the country and for the world as well anyway a lot of countries is running some good operations while catching this kind of malicious gangs now the last news is related to one of the new hacking technique so this hacking is uh, technique is being related related to svg images so it has called that hackers use svg images to install qbot malware on windows system so here they are using html smuggling so to perform html smuggling the qbot malware phishing campaign utilizes svg images files as a as a method of distribution and this method create a malicious installer for window that can be run by the user locally so here a base 64 encoded qbot malware installed is resembled via embedding svg images that contain javascript which can be used to perform this attack as soon as the target's browser is open the installer will get automatically downloaded and installed so here uh, the phishing email messages that deliver the malicious qbot malware can also load other payloads there might be cobalt strike brute rattle and ransomware 
so this is huge and uh, if you know what is html smuggling then in this scenario basically html smuggling involves encrypting javascript payloads into html html uh, attachment or website in such a way that they don't leave any trail behind so that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful if yes comment and feedback you may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis so at last thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind